Okay. Let's do something a bit more chill than what I've been up to for the past, I don't know, couple of hours or so. It's been a while. Like, about a week since I last played this, so... I imagine my villagers are going to say something like, Oh, look who's back. Anyway. Hope you've been enjoying this so far, and thanks for clicking if you're watching this later. Good morning, Mayor Will. It's... Oh, in all, yes, it's... Uh... Monday. March 6th. That reminds me, I need to get my... Where's my wired cable for this? It's just specifically for the fishing. Okay, I found it. Give me a sec. There's a new gardening shop opening on Main Street today. It'll have, uh, flower seeds and gardening supplies. Good news for anyone in town with a green thumb. Okay. See what we got in the mail. Oh yeah, from Gulliver. The deserts of Egypt are hot. It's very rough on a poor seabird like me. My gift to you is one of the merry many fairies that sleep in the pyramids all over replica. Why are people giving me stuff from it from Egypt? Like I have a pyramid. Wait, lucky move? At long last, it's moving day for me. On the one hand, I'm excited about. Living in a new town. On the other hand, I'm sad to be leaving this one. I'm really confusing my fate. Lucky. Oh man. Lucky moved away. I hope it had nothing to do with me putting a pit in front of his house. Oh dear. Okay. Well. Maybe we'll have someone new to replace Lucky. Oh, there's weeds everywhere. But now we have gardening, so... I mean, I could start setting up a garden. Oh, look, my lemons are done. Well, look what we have here. It's sweetie. Long time no see! <laughs> How have you been? Yeah, I mean... Everyone starts saying that, and I don't know. I just feel targeted for not playing the game. It's just like, oh, wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. Look who it is. Oh. Oh, you? I thought you moved. Like, just... Yeah, every comment. Oh, is that you, Will? It's been a while since I saw you. But you haven't changed at all. Pop. <laughs> yeah, Will, am I having deja vu wrecked? Didn't we just talk? Yeah, what's new? Got time for a jog right now? The destination will be... Your house. Haha, -ha, what do you say? Could be tons of fun. Alright, let's do it. Yes, going to a friend's house is one of my favorite things ever. For one thing, it means I have a friend. <laughs> let's get a move on.
I mean, my house is probably not the greatest looking right now. Guess I successfully infiltrated his real secret lair. Gonna put away, um... This. Wait, no. Okay. Ah, you can show me around that you're in pace. This isn't a race. Unless you want it to be, bro. Look at look at my ice cream cone. You can make it do different things. What about my super loud washing machine? Do you like that? This pear wardrobe is shaped like fruit. Huh. It's a good thing it's not really made out of fruit. So to take, I take a big bite out of it, Rerack. So this is the kind of environment a cool kid like you is used to, huh? Hmm. If I say I could get used to it, does that mean that I'm cool? Hold on a second there. These walls are totally bare. If you're having trouble reading itching a certain high, I can help you, you know. <laughs> it's because I don't own many things. You're not gonna comment about my corn? At you. Uh oh. Something may have gotten gone flying towards you. Sorry about that, Will. Okay, well, I think we should uh leave now. Where are you going? If you're out, I'm out too, Rerak. See you later, Will. Thanks for having me over. Okay. I can't remember if they leave on their own or if, like, you have to leave. See where else? Wait, who's living here? That's the best. Uh, Lucky's house was here. Flip. Or did Lucky's house just get removed? I think it just got removed. Colton. Okay, so the house just gets removed in this one. So Lucky's house would have been here. Happiness from the stars, attempting to visit you. I, Katrina, can reveal, reveal your future and the way to capture fortunes untold for a mere 500 bells. Please. Very well, let me bring your star matrix into view. Have a seat. Ah yes, it has come into view. In the field of a tiny settlement, not on any found on any map. I see old Joan grinning from ear to ear as she holds a juicy turnip in both hands. From this place I can see the signs. Oh yes, good fortune upon wealth. Modern top. This item will be the key to unlocking a good fortune. May happiness find you and yours. And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Uh huh. Okay.
I mean, the thing is, I don't really have the item she's talking about to wear. Okay, yeah, so Blanche is still here. Oh yeah, since it's a new season now. I caught a common butterfly, how could I resist? Okay, see, that's not a pun. That's normal. I caught a yellow butterfly, now I have to catch a toast fly. Ah. I think it's gone. I caught a peacock butterfly. Is it a bird or a bug? I will read. What does that sound? Oh, it's a bee. I caught a honeybee. What a switch catch. fruit. I may have clustered it a little bit too much. Hey, where have you been? It's been a while. Never mind. Just glad you're back, Will. Such is the sad fate of these games is like, these animals remain waiting forever at some point. <laughs> it's... Or we move on to other games. been a while. I'm not gonna pry into what you've been doing while you're gone. Glad you're okay. You are okay, right? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call it prying, but... Here's what happened. Kirby released and I went to play Kirby in the evenings instead of this. Blame Cub. I wonder if any of my stuff sold in retail. I doubt it. Let's see. <laughs> nope, still here. Oh, hello there, welcome. Wake up! 
still hasn't woken up. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna keep trying until eventually it does wake up. Oh, the 3D thing does do something. It actually adjusts, adjusts the perspective ever so slightly if I want to turn on 3D mode. See, I don't know, like... I think at a certain point, everyone just doesn't use the 3D thing anymore on the 3DS. I mean, it's kind of a neat effect. But it does... I don't know, wear out. There are some games where it does complement the gameplay, but I think in this one it's just like a... A gimmick, I guess. When they released the 3DS, I was kind of hoping they'd release the Virtual Boy stuff on it, because it seemed like a no-brainer. There's a Wario game on that console that's, like, kind of stuck there forever. Bugs first. Several things I see, blah blah blah. Uh, assess fossils. Oh wait, no, I need to donate him. Keep forgetting, it's like a two-step process. Another duplicate. I'll just go sell the rest. As you can see, it's still- yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a bunch of lemons I would like to sell you. Wait, that butterfly I already have? Now that this is open, let's, let's see. Welcome. Oh, a first timer. Welcome. I saw flowers here. Nice, beautiful flowers. Yes, indeed. I also have saplings, tools, and many more things, so please do take your time and have a look around. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll buy the watering can for sure. Okay, so now we have the watering can. I don't want to get into that stuff just yet. Hi, Will. Welcome. Thanks so much for making our shop your favorite in town. Jesus, you become friends with Will. Huh. So he's been all... Do you think Will will come by today? He starts asking about that before we've even opened the store in the morning. Oh, Mabel. Oh, come on. Excuse me, is that a Guy Fieri shirt? <laughs> I mean, if I want to dress like that, sure. Wait a minute, didn't I finish the fountain? Didn't I finish the fountain, or am I tripping out? Maybe I might have paid the house off. Hang on, what is this? I think I may have not saved and then it lost data chat. Because <laughs> I swear I did this. Okay. I mean, it did warn me about it, but I, I was checking out, um, Ultimate NES, NES Remix on the weekend. So, I may have closed the software and not saved. Which is fine, it's, it's only one day, like, it's not the end of the world, but... That is, that is a little strange. I mean, now we have... A bunch of extra fruit trees, so maybe it'll be less of a pain to raise that money. I don't know. Yeah. I think that's all I did that day anyway, just pay for the fountain. I may have caught some stuff here and there, but that's fine. I'm not that fast. See, this is up there. So in this timeline, I missed a birthday. I knew it! I can smell it on you. You! You got what I've been looking for. Yeah, I'm talking about your peacock butterfly. And I'm not letting you out of my sight. My what? What I mean is, how about selling your peacock butterfly? Oh, the butterfly. Right. Yeah, do it. Yeah. It's a dream come true. Thanks, Will. Sorry for being so pushy, Rerack. Oh, now she's saying Rerack too. What does that even mean? <laughs> re -rack. Uh, 
What is that? Oh, right, and there's still these as well. All the exotic fruits I got. I'll go sell after this. Why is that off? Oh. No, but it's still off by one. I'm missing one. Where is it? There it is! Lady Bugger isn't a man. That was the, <laughs> the pun. I forgot to read it. to just picking up one at a time. Alright, let's just get the last tree and go sell. Remember to save this every single time I play this now. <laughs> I'm not gonna have it happen again. I'll go to the museum first.
Titan. It's the bane of existence, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, something. Uh, I'm gonna go look for the... The rock. The money rock. I was worried that Anacardi was going to shake the tree and then just <laughs> put down a hive. one. Just move just a little bit. Thank you. Okay. Surprised those flowers survived. Oh, yeah, I gotta have more patience. I shouldn't be running around town now. Oh no. Um, okay. I need to move these. Wait, but this means if this is the money rock, it's not gonna give me everything. Please don't be the money rock. Okay, good. Because there's a... Sp oh no. Yeah, no. It's fine. I thought there was a spot I wouldn't be able to put one in. Why don't I fall in the hole, your immersion? What hole? <laughs> hole? Oh, you mean the ones that I dig? The 
because I stop myself. Before I fall backwards, clearly. I'm doing it so there's a sense of danger and then I'm more careful as a result. I've just gone with physics, but I, I, gave, I think I gave a good response. Response. That's what I was going for. Where is I feel like I've I've gone past the rock that it's meant to be multiple times. I just haven't hit it yet. Nope. Unless you get maybe one or the other, like maybe you don't get both. Maybe you get the, uh... The one that's hiding, like, ore. But then you don't get the money rock. I feel like I've checked every rock. do one more lap, but yeah, I think I have checked everyone. What is that? But I can't get it! <laughs> it's not fair. How many presents have I missed, honestly, because I can't get them? I think I've given up on just presents in general. And um, thank you for the follow, Phantom Bunny. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, what did you see? I heard a rumor that you ha no, 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 no. You're not, you're not taking this from me. No, not interested. That's not very neighborly of you. What? You're the one putting me out on a limb here. I'm not. It's like, imagine if this was real life. Like I, I'm wearing a hat, and then you're like, wow, I've been looking for a hat like that. Can I buy your hat? No. <laughs> 
Who walks up to someone and just offers to buy what they're holding in their hands? Oh wow, that backpack looks great. Can I can I buy it off you? <laughs> I'm going to go put this away because it's going to happen again. The guilt trip unfriend her. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a bit of a guilt trip. People can say no. It's like you you can't expect people to say yes to everything. Hey, can I can I punch you? No. That's really not very neighborly of you. Alright, uh Yeah, I'm putting this away. <laughs> I am putting this away so that no one tries to buy it off me. I've already been guilt tripped for like not being in town this week, so you know. Alright, that was it. Okay, see, I haven't done this one because I would have moved the flower. Streamer greetings, viewer greetings to you too. <laughs> How'd I do? Well, all this money is uh, going towards the fountain that I have to fund again because I forgot to save my game. Would I consider doing this multiplayer one day? Because that... I don't think that's doable anymore, isn't it? Like, the 3DS thing is shutting down in a few days, is it not? Like, this is the end of the line for uh, the 3DS. That's just the shop? Really? I can't imagine they'd, uh, they'd keep it up for much longer afterwards. I mean, maybe they will. What would you even do in multiplayer in this, just out of interest? Because I, the way I did it in New Horizons, I just had, like, the regulars sometimes visit the island, or I would go to their island and visit and hang out. Is there anything different that you do in New Leaf? I do kind of want to play New Horizons again, but... That might be, like, later. This one was more of a, like, curiosity. To see how uh, how it was, and people have been saying that they enjoy certain aspects of New Leaf more than New Horizons. Buy at the shop, caf cafe, coffee, house to play instruments, hide and seek. Gotcha. Pretty much, so pretty much the same as New Horizons. I 
I mean, maybe when I when I get my house like in order right now. <laughs> I have corn. I have corn behind my bed. As it, as it stands right now, I don't have a house worth showing off. Like, I have a washing machine that you can hear three towns over. And I have corn behind my bed. But I'll, I'll keep it in mind. It, it, it just depends, because how many people still play this game? Like, if I if I did that, would it be a case of just one person turns up? Or would it be something where, like, yeah. To be honest, I haven't even checked the category for this game. Remember the girl you told me about playing this game? Oh, the... The Australian one? If I recall correctly. multiplayer with her and she shook all your trees to drop fruit and she picked up all the seashells and dropped them all over your town <laughs> littering for shame that sound. Come on, Anacardi, don't be so stubborn. You should apologize first. No! No way, forget it. It's ridiculous. Why should I have to apologize? Anacardi, this attitude isn't helping anything. They don't want to apologize either, but if you give in a bit, you've got a chance to sort this out. What? I can't believe you. You act like it's all my fault or something. Forget about fault for a minute. If someone doesn't give in, we'll never solve this thing. Or what? Do you want to actually fight him? What are they talking about? What? Like a real fight? Like, with punches and stuff? Yeah, with punches and stuff. I mean, if that's what you want, I'm not going to stop you. But it's going to hurt. You might get a bloody nose or something. Yeah, I can't stand blood or nose pain either. Oh man. I need to apologize. Apo what is happening here? There you go, the best thing to do when you're in an argument is to get it settled right away. And the bigger per and being the bigger person makes you look cool, Rerak. Paula, you're wise beyond your years. Wait. How old are you, Cannoli? What? Who are they talking about? Like, what? Anacotti is absolutely pissed with someone else in the town, but who? Like, who could have... Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, like, need me for anything? Yeah, tell me, tell me who you want to fight. You know, one of the things I love most about good old old years are cherry trees. Hey, would you mind getting me a cherry? Have I, I haven't sold them yet, right? Sure. Who do you think it would be? Who would get into a fight with Anacotti?
Yeah, you, you're gonna need you're gonna need that cherry if you're gonna fight. Gives you the sugar rush you need. You should totally take a kitty wool cloth. What? I feel like such royalty getting my wish granted are like that. Let's see my town list. Okay. Uh, wrong button. Let me change layouts here so it's nice and big. Well, we can rule out Paula. Because was talking to Paula, so it's not Paula. So, Frigga, Vesta, Flip, Static, Colton, Blanche. I'm trying to think, like, who would start a fight. I don't know. Like, maybe Static might. Definitely Static. I feel like Flip wouldn't do that. Hey, great timing. I'm thinking about changing my catchphrase. Got any suggestions, Rerack? Yes. No, not Rerack. Brzezinski? Oh, thank you. What should Flip say instead of Rerack? He has a tough, tough, deep voice. Listen, there's nothing wrong with people with deep voices, okay? Just because someone has a deep voice doesn't mean that they're tough and they're gonna get into a fight, okay? I have a deep voice, and I don't go around wanting to punch on with, like, everyone in town. <laughs> uh, do you know what the problem with this is? It's like, I always play this late at night, and at that point, I'm burnt out creatively. So, like, I, I always end up just making them Australian. <laughs> but see, it's not really a catchphrase, like, it just kind of strings it on at the end of the sentence. Like, we'll say something and then say re-rack. I'm not gonna- I'm not going to make it the C word. I almost read it out loud. Chat, we've talked about this before. YouTube punishes the C word now. Do you know how hard it- it's tough times for Aussies, but yeah, I- I- I am avoiding using the C word. We could say count. How about this? Let's just- let's compromise and say I did and just say count. Yeah? Count. <laughs> Is that it? Yes. This is bold. My image is about to do a 360 degree change or a 180 degree change. Whatever is clever. I can't wait to sling this one around town. Can't wait to sling count around town. <laughs> Just the, the doesn't waste any time. Just right away. But see, yeah. Despite this, wouldn't wouldn't start a fight. I'm just yeah. I'm bored. Being near town hall suddenly reminds me. If your mayor job gets too tough, I can step in any time. My first order of business would get folks to exercise more. We need more sports cred in this town. Just makes it sound like I have a title, Count Will. <laughs> I am now the Count of this town. Well, I mean, the way I have my house, it's basically a manor, right? Like... I've been, um, funneling town funds into making myself a private fountain in front of my house. So, when this fountain is done, like, yeah, I, I guess... I am practically the count of this town. I'll just do that. 
I'm about to go sell my fruit anyway. But would be saying it to everyone. Wouldn't wouldn't Flip be saying it to everyone? I guess you wouldn't know that. The cool thing about this is it kind of spreads. So like, I can't wait for another another villager to walk up to me and be like, "Hey, I've heard uh, Flip calling you Count. Can I call you Count?" It's like, yeah, of course you can. Now, that's ignoring the fact that, you know, count is a substitute for a word we can't use on YouTube. I mean, we can use that word, it's just... It's been proven that it's uh, no bueno for the uh, algorithm and all that fun stuff. I'm eventually gonna have to get, like, a button where I just bait myself. Like, it plays a soundboard and it'll just beep me out. Should I just make all the villagers, like, refer to me by a different, um... ...title? Like, I'll make one of them call me Duke. Another one, Your Excellency. Then it, it just looks like then at that point I become the dictator of this town. I'm gonna go pay Static a visit. I haven't seen Static in a while. Hey, did you start a fight with Anacotti? Don't call me sweetie, that's, that's not, that's not what we're here for. Did you start a fight with Anacotti? I haven't seen you in a while, how you doing? Don't change the subject, did you start a fight with Anacotti? I think everyone's in town been a bit worried about you, everything alright, Al? Did you start a fight with Anacotti? Just kidding. <laughs> the the original joke was that I had Lucky in my village, and so Lucky's catchphrase was "ow." So then Lucky would seem like they were in pain 24/7. But now, you know, it's spread, so now everyone is just saying "ow." I am yeah. So what's new? Did you start a fight with Anacotti? You know what people are saying about you lately? That you're kind of a bell hoarder. What? Well, I don't think they're too far off the mark. I just donated 40,000 bells to our fountain, thank you very much. I mean, sure, the fountain is directly outside my house. But nevertheless... Wow. I think it was him. I think he started the fight. Like, he just picked the fight with me! <laughs> just called me stingy! Oh wow, Will. Long time no see. Hey. Do you want to hear a rumor I heard? I heard that you're stingy, yeah. Anyway, nice to see ya. Hope you don't vanish for a long time again. Okay, I'm gonna do some fishing for a bit. I can't believe that they let that conversation go without being specific about what happened. Do they get mad if you don't visit them? I think some of them move out, like Lucky moved out. But then again, Lucky might be mad that I, I put that pit in front of uh, their house. 
So, uh, understandably, if that's the reason they moved, okay. Like, I'll... I'll say my bad. I did apologize. I'm so bad at lining this up. I, I love the 3DS, I really do, but sometimes the analog stick, man. To that effort, and it was just—it was just a sea bass. I mean, if you're away for a long time, the animals kind of. Some of them will say they've missed you, but some of them almost make it sound passive aggressive. Like it's a guilt trip. I'm sorry. Like Kirby came out. And I had to play Kirby. So I had to neglect the town for like a week. And then that time Lucky got just, I guess, fed up and left. Crap. You know, I've always liked the idea of going on a fishing trip. But you know what's, what's always put me off about it? This just stems to me as a person. Anytime someone's like, let's go on a fishing trip. It's always... Alright, so we're gonna leave at like 4.30 in the morning or 5 in the morning. I'm like, what? No! <laughs> Uh, that, that's just what it is every time. It's just... I like the idea of the fishing trip. Hanging out with someone and kind of, you know, just doing that. Seems like a chill way to spend the day. However, I have never been a morning person. Late night fishing? Sure. It's like, alright, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you there at midnight. No problem. But getting up at, like, 4.30... And then having to drive. Meh. Oh, okay. Well... Eventually, I will recycle this stuff. It's just... I can't believe they charge you a disposal fee. It's like, I'm cleaning up our oceans, making the town a better place, and they charge me for it.
But yeah, if, I, if I'm fishing, it's purely for the, the social aspect, because... I, uh... In terms of eating food... Alright, I'm... When it comes to fish, I don't know why, but I, I guess I'm picky with it. It's a case of... It has to be done in a particular way, and it has to be good. If it's not, it's kind of just like, eh. I'd much rather get chicken or something like that, as opposed to fish. So, like... It's not a huge incentive, because if the incentive at the end of the day is to have, like, a nice meal with the fish, I'm like, yeah, but, like, am I gonna get up at 4.30 in the morning to have fish for dinner? Like, am I? Wait, charge you for disposal, but where did they dispose of it? Back into the ocean, probably. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> Just... You know, I, I can see it now, you got- you walk into retail. And you're like, hey! Oh, it's- it's Will again. Hi, what- what can I do for you today? Oh, you know, I'm just cleaning up the ocean. Oh, cool. Hey, listen, uh, we have to charge a disposal fee for that. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... You know, we, we have a business to run here and there's some costs associated with, uh, making sure that- that, uh, tire of yours gets disposed in a manner that's friendly to the environment, you know, and... Yeah. Unfortunately, that costs money. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Alright, how much? Oh, you know, 200 per tire. Damn, that that's a little steep, isn't it? Yeah, but you know, that's uh, that's unfortunately what it costs to dispose of a tire. All right, all right. Well, I do want this town to look nicer, so sure. All right, have a nice day, Will. And you know, I I leave, and then immediately you just hear this sound of a door opening and the tire just being thrown back into the ocean. Just, I can see it. It's like a revolving door. <laughs> Sploosh. Just like the sound effect from Zelda. Sploosh. Also, thank you for the follow that witchy one. Uh, yeah. I, I was doing a bit, you see. I mean, it wouldn't happen in Animal Crossing, because this is wholesome, but... There, there are scummy businesses out there, let me tell you. And it, it wouldn't surprise me. Like, I think there was, um... Now, I'm not going to say the name of the, the company, because I'm not 100% certain. I just remember vaguely reading about this, right? So, there's, um, here in Australia, I don't know if it's the case everywhere, but... Uh, there are certain stores you can go in and take in things for recycling. So, you know, there'll be a, a, a bin or a box, and the company will then take it to a recycler and organize it, right? Because they got logistics and all that stuff, so. Uh, they found recently that, like, one big company, and I'm not going to say who, basically wasn't doing it. <laughs> just, like, collecting it, and then it just went to a landfill anyway. And I think the, the reasoning was that it cost too much. So... That's a, that's a perfect message from Phantom Bunny there, that, like, capitalism. Indeed. No, you know what? I'll do river fish. I'd never do river fish. I just gravitate to the ocean for some reason. Don't know why.
I guess because I find the river a bit more awkward to fish in. Fish. Okay. That's so weird with the fight thing. I don't. Oh, okay. That's another. Yep. Another two hundred. <laughs> Or whatever it costs. What a lesson to be teaching children. It's like, yeah, make a difference. No way it costs too much money. Never mind. Don't worry. If you want to make a difference, it's going to cost you money. But I was going to say, like, I played a lot of New Horizons during those two, two to three years of the pandemic. And not once did any of my villagers get remotely close into being, like... Sure, they got uh, upset a couple of times at each other. That's just normal. But I, ha I have never seen any of them say that they wanted to... Well, okay. A fight was implied. Like, to the point where a fight was suggested. And not just that, one of them was like, no, no, be the bigger person. When someone says that, it means someone else is clearly wrong. So, like, who's a big enough of a dick to not apologize and pick a fight with Anacotti? I still think it's Static. Just because Static called me stingy and it still hurts, not gonna lie. It just, especially since I donated so much to our town's fountain. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm out here fishing and taking rubbish from our rivers and uh, oceans and making the town look nicer. And then this, this little, this little thing, this little squirrel has the audacity to say that I'm stingy. See, I'm, I'm so generous, I just gifted him a, uh, a tire. It's like, it's, uh, environmentally friendly way to grow plants. It's like, it's a, it's a pot. You can grow azaleas in there. You can maybe start, like, a little herb garden. What is- what is happening right now? Like... What happened in the one week that I was away? Did everyone just... Did everyone just... Dump... Whatever tire they had into the river and the ocean? Like, what is- what is going on? Why does the mayor of the town have to pay most of everything? Villagers should pay taxes. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... I find it interesting that most of these villages have their house pop up overnight. Like, instantly. Wait a please, I'd like to order some sauerkraut. Come on, shorter, louder, and drop the please, Frigga. I can't be louder, and I'm not going to be impolite. Oh, sweetie, this is a mess. Flip is showing me how to get the attention of a waiter. Yep. 
Tell when please and thank you just don't do the trick, you gotta pump up the volume. Now, let's try it again, Frigo. I couldn't possibly shout again, my poor throat. Alright, then practice this at home, okay? Sauerkraut, now! Key lime pie, later! Uh, I think I'll leave the super rude cheer squad thing to you, okay, Flip? <laughs> just go into a restaurant and just start screaming at the staff. Yeah, that'll- that'll go well. I mean, okay, the villagers don't pay taxes, but at the same time, I'm going into their stores and putting up my merchandise for sale and selling it at a premium. Hang on, I heard a- I heard a doorbell sound. Who had the doorbell sound? Hey there, you seem a bit tired, Count. <laughs> Playing too much isn't good for you, got it? Why don't you take a short break? Nah, I'm good. I love it. He's calling me Count now. What do you want? Hey, Will. Oh, man, nice timing, Rerack. So, anyway, Will, you're cool with bugs, right? If you see a butterfly, could you catch it for me? I think I could learn a trick or two about fighting. What? By studying the way they float through there. What is it with everyone and fighting today? Like, what happened? I was away for a week. The town is polluted with tires, and people want to fight each other. Like, what? Any butterfly will do, okay? All right. I knew I could count on you, Rerack. Is this- is this why Lucky moved? Hol- holy crap. Did Lucky get into a fight with Anacardi and that's why Lucky moved? And I'm just in the aftermath, like... That's why... That's why they were saying, oh, Anacardi should apologize, because then Lucky might move back. I think I, I think I solved it. I think that's what happened. I don't know why Paula wants everyone to fight. That is a little odd. Man, they were so happy when I made the village theme Funky Town. But now I guess those times are over. Does anyone else have this sort of thing happen to them? There's something in the game or an item that normally you see it all the time. And then the moment you start looking for it, that's when the item just disappears off the face of the earth, never to be seen again. I've seen so many of those normal butterflies around and now that I want one, it's just gone. No, that's just a... Well, hang on, is it? Yeah, it's the yellow one. We just need a normal one. Is that a tiger one? Yeah. Okay. 
I'll go donate that one later. Butterfly. Yeah. Stand still. Damn it. Oh, there, 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 there. Okay. Now, where is she? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Sun's pretty high now. Even I'm not sleepy anymore, Rerack. So, is there something you need from me? Yeah. Oh. I can... I could have given any. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well. I'll just go with the common one anyway. Phonograph. Thanks so much. I'm gonna start secretly calling you Creature Wrangler for this. What? No, don't. <laughs> I like how they whistle Funky Town. So, well, I heard you have a yellow butterfly cannoli. That's something I've wanted for a long time. How about I trade you for my vegetarian tree? Oh, tea. Jeez, I, I don't know why I said tree. Tea? I was like, what, vegetarian tree? <laughs> Chat, it's past midnight here. Leave me alone. Still, I have questions. What is, what is this? What? This is this is just a striped t-shirt. What makes this vegetarian? <laughs> Do we have a vegetarian in the, in the chat that can um, maybe clarify like This looks like I work at a bowling alley or something. Or like, I mean, is that orange? It's orange, right? It's like, it's almost like, maybe it's a patriotic t-shirt of, of a country with that flag color. There's a few that have these colors. <laughs> you know what? I have an idea.
I'm going. I'm going back to my hoodie. <sighs> Listen to the sound of Reese going to drop the tire back into the ocean. It's eighty per tire. Why, why can't this be a thing where everyone in town is like, hey, you know, we pay a monthly fee to make our town clean, you know? Everyone's in it together. Why is it just me? Okay, hang on. I would. I would like to sell my fancy vegetarian t-shirt. And I think this t-shirt, you know, because it's made out of, um... Hang on. It is made up of... Just materials that take our environment into consideration, right? So it is it is vintage. Um Yeah. It was worn by John Carrot, the first person to become a vegetarian. So uh, it's a bit of memorabilia. <laughs> it's never gonna sell. I'd be surprised if it did. The so much for two fries, I just can't make up my mind. Hey Vesta, listen, can I interest you in this vegetarian t-shirt? It was worn by John Carrot, the very first vegetarian to exist. And that's where we coined the term vegetarian. No, no, just don't, 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 don't pay that no mind. Well, you want this right here. I love the Dharma. I don't normally make impulse purchases, but do it. Fine. Did I put that up for sale? I can't remember. I did not put that up for sale. Okay, that's fine. I would like to sell... What is this? Phonograph. The kitty wall clock? I'm not going to use that. Oh. Yeah, that actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I might just put it up in the house. I have nothing on my wall, so... As Flipper pointed out earlier. It might look nice behind my corn. So I can't just... Ah, but does... How does this work, though? Oh, it does still work. So, okay. So if I want to do what I want to do... Hang on. I feel like I'm playing a Zelda game and I'm doing like a dungeon puzzle. Okay. You know what? I don't even have to do that. Just pull it out. Okay. 
Now. Does this work? Oh no, it prevents it. It doesn't let it doesn't let it. That's a shame. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to put it behind the corn. Alright, um I guess just I don't know. Can I put it behind this? Is that an option? That should be okay, right? Yeah, okay, cool. That's fine. How dare it not allow me to decorate my corn. <laughs> it's so loud. Okay. I'm gonna go sell. Oh, is that a... Uh, I mean, it could be something good. Let's try and get it. I remember if there was anything I needed to donate to the museum. I'll go have a look. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I pressed it too quickly. Oh yeah, there you go, Tiger Butterfly. Fish, 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 and that. No, we're good. Halfway. 
Okay, chat. I have to leave it for here tonight. As it is late. And I need to get some sleep. Because I have work tomorrow. But I hope you uh, enjoyed the stream today. Just a bunch of random stuff. Uh, since I didn't want to start um, Minish Cap until Wednesday, so... Yeah. Thank you for tuning in, especially if you're new to the stream. Appreciate you popping in. Uh, I don't usually stream tomorrow, so... I don't have anything planned, but you never know. Maybe if I'm feeling it, I'll... I'll do something. But otherwise, you know, the next day, day after, uh, I'm gonna be starting Minish Cap as I'm playing through the Zelda games before the new one comes out. And also gonna be starting Metroid Prime, which is a game I've been looking forward to since the remaster got announced. So I'll be checking that out. And then afterwards, we'll probably do a bit more of this as I've been a bit lax with this. So yeah, expect more Animal Crossing. That's my loose plan, and I hope to stick to it. In the meantime, if you want to keep watching my content, look me up on YouTube. Just same channel name, you'll find three channels I have over there. Different purposes, past streams, highlights, and uh, the occasional YouTube stream. So, hope you do check that out, or if you just want one convenient place for everything, just go to shambles.gg. And, uh, yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you for clicking and, uh, do all that fun algorithm stuff. I'm too tired to do the full spiel. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed, everyone. I'm gonna go get some rest. Take care, and, uh, I'll see you in a couple days, yeah? <laughs>